So in the previous video, what we did was actually plot some quadratics. So we built up a table of values and we plotted them on a grid and then drew the curve that went through them. Okay. Now, there is a key difference between plotting and sketching. Okay. So plotting is actually physically plotting the curve, plotting the points, drawing the curve that goes through them. Sketching a curve does not involve plotting the points. The whole point of a sketch is to give you a rough idea about what the shape of the curve is and its important points. I don't need it to be accurate. Okay? There does need to be some semblance of accuracy there um, when obviously defining and showing the important points. But it doesn't necessarily have to be to scale. Um, and you don't have to worry about uh, every single point along the way. Okay. So what we're going to do in this video is just kind of introduce uh, sketching quadratics from factorized form. Okay. So here is a curve. Y is equal to x plus 4 times x minus 5. Okay. I have factorized this quadratic uh, into that form. Now, how do I sketch it? Well, first thing to do is to really identify where it is crossing the x and y axis. Okay, So we can identify where something crosses the x axis by putting y equal to 0. Because y equals 0 is the horizontal line that represents the x-axis. So if we put y as 0, we're trying to find where it's crossing that line. So we're going to put 0 is equal to x plus 4, x minus 5. So what we're saying here is that either x plus 4 is 0 because then we've got 0 times something, which would obviously be 0, or x minus 5 is 0, which would mean 0 times something, which would clearly be 0. So one of those two brackets is going to be 0. If the x plus 4 is 0, then that means that x must be minus 4. So that's telling us that it's crossing the x-axis at minus 4, 0. The x-coordinate is minus 4, the y-coordinate is 0. If this bracket is 0, then x would have to be 5. So we know also that it's crossing through the x-axis at 5, 0. So that deals with where it crosses the x-axis. Some of this you could do straight in your head, okay? And when you get confident, you'll be able to identify these very quickly without having to write anything out. So the y-axis is x equals 0, that horizontal line when x is 0. So if I put that into my equation, I will work out uh, where it's crossing the y-axis. So I'm going to have y equals 0 plus 4 times 0 minus 5. So you get 4 times minus 5, so minus 20. So this tells us the key information, because now we've got a crossing point on the y-axis at 0 minus 20. We have three points, three important points that we can include in our, on our sketch. So, I am sketching, so I don't need to use a ruler for the axes. I know that the curve goes through minus 4 and 5 on the x-axis. So, minus 4 and 5. 5 is a little bit more than minus 4, is a little bit more than 4, so it would shift slightly over here in favour on the right-hand side. So, it would make sense to do, draw it something like that. Once again, doesn't need to be perfect. That will be minus 4. That will be 5. So what you're looking for is that line of symmetry 
okay, should be slightly over to the right hand side because the curve is further over because it's going through 5 there than 4 there, minus 4. And where is it crossing the y-axis? It's crossing at minus 20. OK? So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to go straight from that equation there to the curve without really having to do all of this. So we should be able to go, well, it's crossing through at minus 4 and 5. OK, so we're changing the signs of what's there. So minus 4 and 5, and it's crossing through the y-axis at 4 times minus 5 minus 20. And we should be able to go directly from that line to the sketch. OK? So don't worry that it's not to scale. That doesn't matter. It tells me what is important, the important points and the shape of the curve.